Hey guys, I'm Alastair from Trail and Kale, and this is my On Cloud Surfer review. I'm super excited to be telling you guys my thoughts on this, the latest On Cloud Surfer. It's version 7, um, and a lot has changed with this shoe. So before I get into all the changes, I want to just give you some of the key stats of this shoe, because even those are very different to the Cloud Surfer 6 that came before this. Okay, first off, let's talk about price. They are $160, so... I think they are very much worth that price tag. I'll go into that a little bit later. They weigh 8.2 ounces, which is staggering. That is 30% lighter than the previous versions. So I'm getting to the point where it doesn't even feel like a cloud surfer anymore. It's a completely different shoe. There's brand new technology in the midsole. It's 30% later, uh, lighter. The upper is completely different doesn't even look like it. it looks more like a cloud monster to me um, my best way to describe this shoe by the way would be if the cloud monster had a baby with the cloud go you would basically get the brand new cloud surface 7. there is a 10 millimeter drop in this shoe from heel to toe which uh, feels pretty good for such a plush running shoe such a cushioned running shoe like this one which is effectively in my eyes designed for people wanting to run longer um, and just enjoy those base mile runs or recovery runs knowing that you can just keep running and running because they're so comfortable and the CloudTech phase midsole gives you some great energy return as well so I'm going to be using these for long training runs um, half marathon runs training for a marathon as well which I'm hoping to do very soon get back into those road marathons uh, the stability of the shoe is neutral very um, classic on running to have a neutral stability shoe so they will feel great for most people um, and the cushioning is very much plush so as soon as you step into these shoes you're going to feel so much cushioning and really nice soft kind of feel underneath underneath the foot but also around your foot it really hugs your feet nicely because of this thick kind of wall here um, the upper is totally different to the previous version it's very thick it's lightweight super soft and just feels really great it's also made with 30 percent recycled materials and quickly going over the fit then they fit true to size and if you're familiar with on running shoes then and you've used them before then i would go with, with your usual size um, for the on cloud surfer as well they are i would say average width um, so if you have average width feet uh, then you'll really get on with these there's enough space inside um, to allow your feet to wiggle a little bit as well so really good fit and very consistent as well if you're enjoying this review please give it a like um, share it with a friend if you think they're going to enjoy it as well if they're looking for a long distance uh, or just generally beginner intermediate running shoe which is super comfortable um, Definitely share this video with them so they can check out the On Cloud Surfer as well. And consider subscribing to our channel for more running shoe reviews just like this one. Before I go all the way around the shoe from the midsole to the outsole to the upper and even the lacing system, I just want to quickly talk about what they're actually like to run in because after all that's the most important thing, right? How does the shoe feel? Are you going to enjoy running in them? What's the competition like at the moment? What are the similar running shoes that feel like this? and who they're even for. So I've alluded to that a little bit um, at the start of this video, but these shoes are very plush, super comfortable for running many, many miles. You're just gonna really enjoy moving in these shoes. The um, energy return from the CloudTech Phase midsole, which is made of helium foam, by the way. So it's very responsive and it's very durable and lasts a long time as well. Um, it's just a great experience. So I'm definitely keeping these in my shoe rotation. I'm going to be running long mileage runs, getting at my base mileage. It's spring here right now in California, so I am now upping my mileage, ready for those uh, summer trail races and hopefully some road marathons as well. So these shoes are going to be with me for a lot of my runs right now. So if that sounds like you, then you should definitely pay attention. These shoes are most likely going to be for you as well. If you want to know what a comparable running shoe to the On Cloud Surfer 7 right now would be, um, I can pick two very easily for you. One from Nike, which would be the Invincible 3, has a very similar plush feel, 
Um, also, I was so designed for running long distances, getting in those base miles, those recovery runs. Uh, the other shoe I would recommend, which is very similar, and that is the Hoka Clifton 9. I've reviewed both those shoes as well, so I'll put links up here and down in the description so you can go check them out as well. Right, so you know what they're like for running, uh, who they're for, and some comparable running shoes that you might want to look at. Now I'm going to go around the features um, and just quickly let you know what those features actually do and what they're like whilst you're running what makes them stand out from the competition as well. So I'm gonna start with the CloudTech Phase midsole, which is this section here. Um, if you're familiar with on running and the on cloud shoes, then you will not have seen this midsole before. This is brand new from on running um, and it's very clever how it works. And if you're familiar with on cloud surfer running shoes, then this shoe's gonna look completely alien to you, you're not going to recognize it because there are no pods on the outsole. The OnCloud service before this one was the last remaining OnCloud shoe to have the old style pods. Issues with those pods were that the durability wasn't very good. Um, they could tend to break away after running and they're 300 miles or so in those shoes. Uh, less mileage if you had a heavier build. The other issue is that stones or little rocks or gravel could get stuck between the pods when you're running. And that was super annoying to have to stop and just pull out those rocks. Um, none of those issues are on this new outsole. It's completely different. But I digress, I'm just gonna quickly talk about the CloudTech phase. I got a little bit excited there uh, for a minute. <laughs> the CloudTech phase has a a system here that when you kind of compress and land on the shoe, your footfall, this uh, system staggers and it phases and it goes as you put pressure, forward pressure and downward pressure onto the shoe. These kind of compress individually one after the other sequentially um, and then it eventually locks in place and the reverse happens when you take off. And that's a really interesting way to look at a landing for a running shoe. And on actually used computer software to simulate all the different possibilities of what would be best for that kind of sequ sequential cushioning. Um, and they came up with the OnCloud Surface 7. And I am loving this system. It's a feeling that you've just got to kind of run on to actually to know what it's like. So. Yes, I'm loving the feeling um, of running with this new Helion CloudTech Phase midsole. Moving on to the outsole then that I got so excited about. Uh, there are no pods. Um, I talked about the downsides of the pods, but to be fair, they had some great upsides as well. They had great forward propulsion, uh, great energy return because of how they worked. And those cloud pods, to be fair, was how ON was born in the first place. Um, that system was what made on popular in the first place. And now I find it quite interesting that it's completely gone. Um, some of their new trail shoes as well, that system is totally gone. And there are no real pods on the bottom anymore. In my eyes, that's actually great because they've still got the nice cloud feeling, you know, running on clouds, but they don't have the issues of durability and the fact that stones could get caught in between the pods on the bottom. So love what they're doing, love the new direction of on running. Outsole here is great. You're not really going to get any stones getting stuck in here. Um, super lightweight. There is a micro tread in there. Hopefully you can see micro faceted kind of dimples all along the bottom. And there's a lot of surface area uh, when you connect to the floor. So the grip is very good on the outsole. Upper then, very nice, very cushioned around just where your feet go in and above your foot, the tongue, is super plushy, feels great on top of your feet when you do the laces up. Um, one thing that I picked up on the new on cloud surfer is that the breathability could be better. There is a, a kind of dual material on the upper. So this nitty kind of outer and then another one on the inside, which is soft. Um, that does mean that the airflow isn't as great as it could be. And I'm sure that's actually putting more weight into the shoes. So this shoe could be incredibly lightweight if they kind of change this upper a little bit more. I like to put my hand in the shoe 
blow through the top just to get an idea of breathability and airflow. Um, just to do, that's my test to see how breathable these shoes are, short of running in them, of course. Um, not particularly breathable, air can't really get in there very easily. So that said, they'd be good on nice cold uh, days if you want to keep your feet warm. Super hot days, um, like it has been recently here in California for me, your feet do tend to get a little bit hot, um, but I can live with it for the rest of the experience, which is just brilliant. I could talk about on running shoes forever. I've been reviewing them for over 10 years now. I was there when the company started. I spotted those cloud pods on the shoes. I knew they would be cool and that they would actually work as well. So I've been following the company and reviewing every on running shoe to date. So definitely go check out trailandkale.com on there in the search box. Search for the on running shoe you want to see or read about and you should find my review on there. Also, if you're not sure which on running shoes to go for, I've written a best of buyer's guide, which will help guide you to the best on running shoes for you and the type of running that you want to do. And of course your budget as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed this on cloud surfer review from version seven of the on cloud surfer. If you did, please give it a like um, and drop a comment down below to let me know you're watching and you're enjoying my on cloud reviews. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next review.